process that I'm employing for this painting has a lot to do with layers, hidden layers, layers of meaning, layers of myself, what I'm going through and what I'm activating. I actually see this painting as a sort of spell work, as a kind of casting or a willing for my future. It's interesting because the theme is really having largely to do with something that's conceptual but also goes beyond conceptual to something I'm really doing right now and it's through an energetic lens. I feel worried to even admit it on this, but in honesty, um, I am a highly sensitive person and I've struggled in my life with suppressing these things because other people have made me feel like I need to. I am interested in odd topics, things that are taboo, but also mastery, things that I admire, the story of human beings, the human story. And this is about my place, my own story. And a lot of this is also, it's up to me really. It's what truly is motivated from within myself not to try and prove something to other people. In fact, a lot of it, even though there's an element of that, because I'm still making this a sort of declaration that I have the right to take my place with authority in the world and in the areas that I have really worked to develop over my lifetime. I am a high achiever. The good part of that is when it comes from my joyful enthusiasm to do things well and to learn things. I love to learn. They say that to be a great teacher, I've heard there's a phrase as well about you must first be a great student. And teaching runs in the family. I come from a family that have won awards for their work in the school board in Miami-Dade County. I've grown up with that and and besides that I come from what really is a family of artisans. Most of my family members have maintained their daily income through the schools in some fashion of education or overseeing the human resources kind of running the operations of that and that's what I grew up around but I also grew up learning from these people that had an enthusiasm in that in whatever that area would be so for instance I have family that are teachers that have a lot of knowledge about history and the world and and then there's my dad who is an electrician he's a master electrician and and their stories are all very fascinating to me how they get there, even the traumas that people go through. That's uh, a lot of what this painting is about anyway. It really all comes together in it, and I actually feel it ultimately gets summed up in the color orange. Right now I'm becoming kind of obsessed with the color orange, and it's a very red version of orange, so there's... I'm really liking pearl red right now. but just the pure pearl red isn't quite right for this. 
So hence the yellow light and parole red, I'm mixing them right now. They're the underpainting. And it's sort of interesting because I've usually, I've never done this as an undercolor. It's very different for me setting the tone of the whole painting by one big swath of color. In Blue Phoenix, I actually never got to finish it because I had to leave the place where I was painting it, similar to the other one that I actually realize now sort of was a precursor to this in a way. Um, the first self-portrait I did that had to do with my connection to a place and a time in my life. And that was at the Lich Gate in Tallahassee when I lived there. So actually this series of self-investigation portraits, they really have to do with where, like my identity at a certain time. And and yet they uh, the others have all been disrupted, which is interesting because my a lot of what I've been through that has resulted in trauma and PTSD has been disruption. Um, destroying, messing with my natural cycle. But that's what this is a reclaiming about, in fact. This is very declarative about rising from the ashes, the story of the phoenix. I like this one too because it's actually a real merger with the spiritual side of myself and a uh, business every day kind of way to live life and it's about basically stepping into my own sense of being a powerhouse but so much of it even though it's going to be almost like a CEO portrait it's kind of like a sense of being mature I was researching suits today I've been actually trying to do this for a few years and it wasn't really the time, but I've been thinking about it for a long time. And I, even in fact, before my major trauma happened, I guess I had this idea. And I have in this room an original sketch of the suit I wanted to make. And it was, it's a design statement. So there is like an element also of my interest in fashion design in, in that industry. But there's so much more beneath it, like so much more for me that... But even what I was looking up today about suits, like most of them all were about men. Because men, like, it's required sort of uniform to be taken seriously and... And there's such a class distinction about it. It's like everything I do is learning a subject and you have to be able to get whatever you need to be able to show up and to be taken seriously or to even take yourself seriously so you can really do it. So much of that is about resource. And resource is in and of itself such a huge statement, like it's almost a thunder to my thoughts about being female and has a lot of association with my past when I've been coming across that word, a lot of it has to do with like trafficking and abuse of the environment. There's kind of even saying the word resource, a lot of times it would be, I think I even said it in my last video that I did for the submission of the Art Basel New Media Festival where I voiced what I felt from my trauma experiences and and the worst experience with even the culture that showed me how that gets fueled and how it really, how oppressive things really are that I thought were better than they were. Um, that was kind of my, my privilege. In fact, even when I did the last of these, the last painting that was not in the series, but it was at FIU. Honestly, even that has so many layers because just going to FIU, it started because I started studying human sex trafficking. 
So I could really though understand PTSD and what was going on for myself and what was happening with my friends and the dynamics in Miami. The rape culture and the abuse that I don't even really want to think about it. But that's actually why this is so triumphant. <laughs>